In this session, we'll look at how to use a surface slope style to analyze the grading within a parking lot design. On my screen is a drawing that represents a site plan for a small fast food restaurant. And I've already created a top surface for the majority of this site. Let's take a look. I'll do that by selecting one of these triangles, and then I'll come up and choose the object viewer. And then we can orbit this around. Let's zoom in so we can see that site in 3D. Let's close the object viewer, and I'll press escape. Note that we can also see the storm sewer that I've placed in the parking lot. Now, one way that I can validate this design is by ensuring that the water flows to these inlets. I can do that by selecting the surface, and then I'll come up and choose the water drop tool. I'll click OK. And then any place that I click within the parking lot, the water should flow right to those inlets. So this looks good. I'm going to press escape to jump out of the command. Let's get rid of these sample lines. I'll do that by selecting one of them. I'll right click and I'll come down and choose select similar and then I'll press delete to remove them from the drawing. So I can easily validate that the water is running to the inlets. The one thing that I can't see is if I have triangulation that is too flat or too steep. One way I can quickly analyze the slope of my triangles is by creating a surface slope style. I'll do that by coming over to the settings tab and then I'll expand the surface category. We'll expand surface styles. I'm going to create a new surface style. I'll do that by right clicking on the surface styles group and I'll choose new. On the information tab, we'll give this style a name. I'm just going to use initials here, JB Slope Analysis. I will then come down to the Display tab, and I'll say that when I'm using this surface style, the only component that I want to see are the slopes. Let me turn that one on, and I'll click OK. Once that style's been created, I'm going to assign it to my proposed surface. I'll do that by selecting the surface. We'll go to the Properties Palette, and then here in the Style area, I'll select that style. I'll press Escape when finished. So now we can see that the triangulation is being colorized based on slope. At this point though, the colorization doesn't mean that much. Let's make this a little more meaningful. I'll do that by selecting the surface, and then I'll choose Surface Properties. On the Analysis tab, I would like to do a slope analysis. We'll do three ranges, and I'll click the arrow to push this down to the Details area. Using these three ranges, I can easily colorize slopes that are too flat, slopes that are too steep, and then the slopes that fall within my desired design range. We'll start with the flat ones. We'll say any slope that is from 0 to 0.5%. These are going to be too flat. I'll click in the color field here. We'll colorize these a nice light blue. I will then set the next range to slopes from 0.5% up to 4%. This area represents my desired range. Once again, I'll click in the color field. We will colorize these as green. Let me click OK. And then finally we'll take care of the steep slopes. Anything from 4% up to the maximum, we'll make these red. I'll click OK, and then I'll click OK. Let's back up a little bit. Based on the slope style, I can easily see that this area in the island is quite flat. I can also see that the majority of my parking lot meets my design requirements. Although I do have some triangulation that falls outside my desired slope range. From here I can do some additional analysis using labels. I'm going to select the surface. I'll choose Add Labels, Add Surface Labels. We'll do Slope Labels and I'll click Add. I'd like to do One Point Labels. Let me zoom in and I'll click in the middle of this triangle. I can see that one is too steep. Let me click here. Now that I can easily see these values, I can go back and adjust my grading if necessary. Let's come over here and we can place a couple more. When I'm finished analyzing the triangulation, I'll go ahead and hit Escape to jump out of the command. We'll center the drawing on screen, and we'll close the Add Labels dialog box. So the next time you're designing a parking lot, try using this technique to analyze the pavement grading. By applying a surface slope style, you can easily identify any slopes that fall outside your design requirements. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.